Happy Tuesday, guys. Welcome to the podcast. Fitzy and Whipper here. Um, I, I gave you a story yesterday about our trip overseas. Disneyland, amazing place. Oh, um, you've made it. How I dent the rental car and got away with it. Bad start to Boom. the trip. <laughs> so you Haven't ripped someone anything off. back. Yep. And I'm not going to tell you the company either. I'm running, man. <laughs> was I'm Avis. running. I'll run me. for the rest of my life. And don't try to chase me or Whoa. I'll chase you down and kill your family. Oh, my God. No, it's that's... just a holiday, mate. If Settle down, down buddy. Fun. Yeah, we're on. Ooh. This is the podcast. Hey, welcome to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. <laughs> no, <laughs> we are back. That's our first death no. threat. I've got another story. We went to the baseball. Firth. Right? Yeah, first. First. yeah. Well done, mate. Um, we went to the baseball for the first time. I took the family and... All the kids want is a baseball. Now, how do I freaking get a baseball? Buy one at Rebel Sport. No, no, they want one from you the You went game. all the way to America to get a baseball. Oh, you got to stick around for this story because I snagged one. Wow. But there was a story to it, so I'll tell you all about it next. The, the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. I want to talk about, I took my boys to their first Major League Baseball game last week in San Francisco. It's such a great day out, and I was a bit worried because it's long. A baseball game goes for nine innings each, and it's a very long game. Well, how many hours are you at the baseball? Well, I would say minimum two. Two? You so, know, sometimes it can go out to three or four. I went there once. I went to the baseball. And that's when I learnt that light beer is light in calories, yes. not alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. And I really settled in. It's really cheap at the baseball as well to get yourself a $17 beer and a, did and you a do, $14 hot dog. Did you do novelty? Did you do big hands and yes. hats? and? Yep, the boys got a San Francisco Great. Giants. They were playing the Detroit Tigers. It was a bit disappointing, actually, because they were favourites. They should have, Detroit Tigers are hopeless, and they beat San Francisco. Francisco. So we got to sit down. I got us pretty good seats, and I sat down to old Ray. Ray's had the same seat for 20 years. Awesome. And the boys were all, we were excited. It was really good, and they lasted the whole game, Sarah, so I was really pumped. Awesome. All they want, though, right, kids, when they go to the baseball, though, they just want to catch a baseball. Yeah. Right? Now, for you to catch it off a, a hit or a foul ball is really, really hard because that ball is flying. But what yeah. a lot of people don't know, and, and Ray, I, I sat next to Ray, he's been there for 20 years and he said, mate, I don't want to burst your bus bubble, but I've been here for 20 years and no ball has come to these seats right, okay. in 20 years. Ray would know. He goes, I haven't even had a chance to try to catch a ball. But what happens, right, is that we were, we were near the first base, right? And what happens when they practice before each innings and they're throwing the balls to each other, the first baseman comes into the dugout or he, he throws what he needs needs to where he gets himself a drink and he comes in with a baseball and sometimes he'll throw the ball over the net into the crowd into the crowd and the kids can take it whoever, whoever gets it gets to keep the ball right and we were sort of around that area anyway it was a long day dad had had a few beers and the boys were getting into the game and the first baseman was coming into the dugout. So Huey and Lenny said, we're going to go down to the aisle near the front. We're going to put our hands up to see if he throws it our way. And all day, I hadn't been going down the aisle. And I thought, this is the first time I'm going to do it. Mm. I'm going to walk down and see, you know, if I can get closer to the action. As I'm walking down the aisle... This first baseman throws it over into our area, and I'm walking down each step, each step, and I'm going, I'm half a chance here. Oh my god, I'm getting closer. So I keep walking down the <laughs> steps here. Oh my god, I'm on. And it was like oh, I'm on. I've gone back to my career. <laughs> I think I've come over the oh, top, god. and I've taken the baseball. Now BJ just Stop. missed out on videotaping it, but she's got us coming back with the baseball. I've come over the top, Sarah. Listen to this. Come yeah. over the top, I've taken the ball. And I've gone, yes, this is awesome. It's in my hands. Mark of the year. Little did I know that I've come over the top of a woman. <gasps> oh, no. And I, my elbows have knocked her in the back of the head and knocked her contact lens out. Oh. So this is Wow, what, that's a serious hit. So you, the, knocked, gonna, you knocked her from the ba in the back of the head. Yeah. In the, uh, I'm trying I'm, to catch a baseball. I, look, I, I think she was putting a bit of icing on it. So she's there going, oh, oh, my head, I've lost my contact lens. So people start to boo me in the area. <laughs> so then I've, in, I've instantly, this is what Fuzzy. I've done. I can't keep the ball. I've got to give it to the nearest kid. 
which happened to be my son, wow. Houston. So I've handed the ball to Houston, and oh, then there's a few people going, oh, he's given it to a kid, that's okay. Then people are talking about it in the area. There's still a few, few boos, because this woman's looking for a contact lens on the ground. Yeah, hard to find when you're blind. I walk back to my seat, Sarah, and people then realise that Huey sits down next to me, and I've given the ball to my son, oh, so the boos start a up A few more boos. <laughs> And here's and you trot on the contact lens on your way out. I've look I've looked next door to Ray, who's been in the same seat for yeah. twenty years, and he's turned his legs the other way, and he will not talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last time Ray will sit in that seat. So Huey's so pumped, he's got a baseball. I cannot believe we've got a baseball. And then Huey, I must give it to him. He was the one who suggested this. He said, "Dad, you've got to give it back to the woman." You gave it to the woman. So we got Aww. up, we went down to the woman, and I said, "I'm." So so sorry, I knocked out your contact lens. Mm -hmm. Here's the baseball. And, we, and I'm not joking, everyone in the area got up and gave oh, us a standing yeah, ovation. But she was blind, so you gave her a cricket ball. It was the <laughs> biggest roller coaster of a oh ride I've God. ever had in my life. He One was... minute I was, I, I was going back to my footy days, I've taken a hanger over a woman. Mark of the year. Next thing you know, I'm getting booed, and then I'm getting a standing wow. ovation. Wow, what a moment. Go Giants. But your kid had to tell you to hand the ball back. That's the the bigger issue. Do you know what? Travel stress can take a hike. With lots of fully refundable hotels, whatif.com has got you covered. Just remember, booking cancellation windows apply. So, go and relax and book your next trip with confidence at whatif.com. What if? It's Aussie for travel. I do love this. We do joke about it. I reckon I've done it once. What's that? I went to the... I, I presented an award at the MTV Music Awards around about 15 years ago, okay. and I had an all-nighter. You weren't the one that got his... Oh, no, that was Axel Whitehead. No, 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 that was that was at the Arias. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> no. Just picturing you on the end of the runway there. No, that, that was... Anna the, Nicole Smith. Anna Nicole Smith got yeah. her boobs out there. No, with yep. Kelly Slater. Do you remember that? That's right. And I came into work and had a few more drinks there, and I continued, and you think you're killing it. You think you're doing, oh, really, oh, oh, <laughs> you think you're doing really well. Nothing's going to stop me now, guys. I'm on fire. Um, okay, <laughs> so this is Heather Cova. Now, Heather is... she works. She's the local news anchor in our... Albany, Albany, um, which is New York State, up, up above New York there, mm -hmm. and she's rocked up to work and she said, I don't need makeup today and I don't need to do my hair. Just She could start playing this on the TV so everyone could see. She's a bit dishevelled. Yeah, she is. She looks like she's, <laughs> I don't know, wrestled, wrestled with a bear for about five hours. Yeah. So, the so hair's all over the face. The hair's all over the place. She doesn't have any makeup on and I think she's just had a girl's lunch. Okay. Which is okay. You, you got to. You, you got can to. go to work. But I love how, I mean, she's reading the auto cue, mm. but she's also trying to put a, a bit of her flavour on the. I think she's still at lunch with the girls. Have a listen to this. It's only 80 degrees here. We are really lucky here in the capital region. I mean, let me tell you about that. These areas are reaching such areas. I mean, it's Houston, Austin, San Antonio. I mean, they're not expected. It has happened. Like, you don't need us telling you that it's bad. It's like, like people are being told to like stay inside, drink a lot of water, and we are just lucky. This weekend right here is so amazing. Uh, uh, meteorologist Craig Adams. Right here, right here. I'm sorry, Craig Adams. Why did I say that? And of course, just like me, meteorologist Craig Gold is working a double shift, and so um, he's in. So let's get over to uh, Craig Gold. Hey, yep, Craig. All right, good evening, Heather. And yeah, the weather has been quite you nice know, here. You know what concerns me the most is the way her mouth is moving sideways. I'm not sure what's going on at the girls' lunch, but I would suggest it's a hen's party. What I do love is that mm. in her mind, she's mm. going, I am killing her. Yeah, I'm on fire. You know They're getting what? a little bit more of me tonight, she's thinking. <laughs> Finally, I've got a chance for my personality to shine through. Well, Craig was then informed that he had to do the weather for the next two hours. Mm -hmm. We're not throwing back to Heather. <laughs> not to mention that her advice was to stay inside and drink water. Take your own advice, love, at 100 miles an hour. You're on the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Lights, camera, clarity. Ooh, Sarah. In the top trending stories in entertainment, guys, Nicki Minaj. This is huge. 
She has caused absolute chaos in the UK. She made the huge mistake of getting on social media Mm -hmm. and inviting her fans to an impromptu meet and greet at a nearby uh, bar. (laughs) Hundreds and hundreds of fans appeared. All sorts of chaos. The police were deployed to come and take control of the situation. People are shoving. Like, it is an absolute fight to get in. Done at Corey Worthington. Well, how did he do that? Well, he was the guy that put oh, the open the party, party on Facebook. Yeah, Guys, if you, right. everybody gotcha. get involved. you got to get here. I used to love back in the old uh, days when bands used to say, we're going to kick on or go somewhere else. After and, party. Yeah, go back to this pub, come back for just a, a free gig. Yep. There was nothing better. Oh, no. Nicki Minaj wasn't promising music fits. No. She was just saying, just I'll meet. come and say hello if you'll come to the pub. <laughs> like, she'd obviously <laughs> gone and lonely? said to the owner or something, like, I-, I can feel this joint, just watch. Next thing you know, there's cops everywhere, all the streets are blocked off. I mean, it's good for the ego, not so good yeah, for the Yeah, yeah. Guys, J-Lo has opened up. This is quite, uh, you know, a little bit scary. She's opened up about a time she thought she was going crazy. So she was only getting three to five hours of sleep a night. She was in studio all day doing junkets and filming on the weekends. She wasn't as famous. She was just in that sort of early days when she was really starting to pick up. So you never say no to work. Mm. Um, But she said it caught up with her to the point where she suddenly just collapsed on the ground. Uh, She thought she was going crazy. She was actually having a panic attack and one of her security guards had to pick her up and carry her out of an event and and into a car to take her straight to hospital. Do you see, see that... That, that young girl, teenage girl, had a panic attack at home recently, and she said it was. Uh, she said to her mum, "I'm having a panic attack." The mum rocked up from work, drove home straight away, and the girl, the girl was lying down in the driveway in the rain. Oh my god! And she was having an anxiety attack, and the mum got out of the car, laid down in the rain with her, and just held her hand for an hour until she was better. Oh my god! Really gosh. nice. Um, J- Where did you see that? <laughs> it was a viral video that went around the Panic world. Panicattack.com. Um, says, was Jayla, was that around the same time she thought going out with A-Rod would be a good idea? What's wrong with A-Rod? He's a ter- he is a serial cheater. Oh, that's a serial nice. cheater. The how Rod do, how do you is know a that? Desi- He has one of the great reputations as a pants man. What, hide the Rod? No, no, very different <laughs> game. <laughs> but he's mastered that Maybe. too, I think. <laughs> That might afraid. be how it ended. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- speaking of pants, man, uh, men. Finally, Jason Donovan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I can see I the segue. That. that is not a segue. <laughs> <laughs> this is so exciting. So July 28th. So we're talking like not just over 10 days um, until we see the finale of Neighbours. Oh, now, my gosh. I know you guys haven't been watching it, but, but surely I love it. we're all tuning in for the I finale, am. aren't we? Do you know what says, as we're talking about the Logies, how there wasn't enough tribute being paid to, mm-hmm. to Neighbours, Kylie and Jason should have been at the Logies singing especially for you as a duet live on stage. I don't think, I've said it, mate. I don't think they want yes, to. Yes, they do want yeah. to. Yeah. No, this mate. The foundation of their, them as stars and TV in Australia. For so long, this was wow. part of everybody's lives. I've you said know, it, Sarah. To, to their credit, though, they're pretty generous. So yesterday, we know that they're part of this finale, uh, but obviously, you know, sometimes these rumours get out of control. But we did see them I loved uh, it. return to Australia. They were on set. And yesterday, Kylie put up these pictures, which were awesome, of her and Jason. She's got the frizzy, crimped hair. She's back in character. Do you know if It she, looks great. Is Charlene a mechanic again? Oh. Because um, remember, well, she was a mechanic. Wearing yeah, she's wearing the full denim, like the um, the jumpsuit. So she obviously returns as, you know, they're, they're true to the story. Two, two, okay, two storylines for me that I think would go down well in the final. Renew is that those two kiss again. <gasps> there's got to be some kind of... Yes. That, you know, they see each other and there's a moment where they kiss. Or, mm. I don't know, Scott just goes on a murderous rampage <laughs> and just kills <laughs> everyone on the street. I mean, that what would be a great trade. way to go and out. Toadie disarms him at the last minute. What be- about Guy Pearce? Is he locked in? Because he was no, Mike. I yeah, no, I don't think he made it back. Margot Robbie didn't, but she sent a ton of champagne uh, when the final scene of the right, film. Right she sent all this it was, champagne. It was yellow green, yeah. but <laughs> um, <laughs> well, well, well done, Sarah. The Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Let me sing that song. Song, 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 song. Yo.
Yo, yo. Song, 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 guys. We're streaming live on the Fitz and Whipper Facebook page. We want you to get involved. Play along. You need to be quick here. Says you're playing from home in Balmain. You're in the garage. You're in your car. So slightly distracted this morning as we can see your car can seats you... in the back of the garage doors down. Can Good you luck. Can you beat the horn for us, Seth? No. Oh, hold on. Oh, I mean, so you've now... gone for contestant number two on oh, traffic. Oh, oh Sarah, you've gone for Tony the plumber. <laughs> Oh, God, watch. The kids are going to run down. All right, Sarah, meet Tony. (laughs) All right, MDG, you ready to go, guys? Born ready. Can't go out round one. Here we go. The word is will. Will. Um, Will I ever see your face Will I ever see your face face again? again. No No way. We will, we will rock you. Will, there he is. Oh, good song. Sarah from the Um, Mazda. Sorry, I have to tell so my you, husband to go back upstairs. It's okay, don't home. need you. Um, <laughs> will, will. Um, Can't go out, Sarah. I don't know. Doesn't matter, you were distracted. I brain. That's all right. I will survive. Oh, yes, yeah. Gloria Rayner. G- Gary ran down. Why the yeah. hell are you tooting the horn? <laughs> yeah, he's what do you want? Get ready for work. I said your bacon and eggs are at eight o'clock. <laughs> he thought he was going to get some backseat action. <laughs> 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 Leave the kids upstairs, put, put Finding Nemo on. Um, <laughs> Sarah's only needs Postman Pat. She oh, says Postman it's the Pat. right distance. Well, well, 12 Simon minutes. Sam, 11 Sorry. minutes. Okay, well, Bluey goes for seven minutes. <laughs> Here we go. And he's a great guy. Uh, the word is this. This, this is my life. This, this is it. Yes. This time I know <laughs> Danny Minogue. Uh. Oh, MBG, this is, is our house. This, this is, is our house. Yeah, it's the rugby league thing. Oh, this yes. This is our, our house. Whoa. This time I know it's for real. Oh, That's yes. Yeah. This time I know it's for real. Who's that? I, this time I know Rini, it's I for real. Sing. No, that, no that's, 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 that's the song, song you heard. That was, uh, oh. Paul, what's that, Macca? Young Divas. Young Divas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. You can leave now. Get your coat. Mac is a young Divas. You've yourself. Um, All right, okay, guys. so everyone's through. Yes, everybody is through. Congratulations on what I consider a tough round. Sarah, doing very strong from the Mazda. The word is on. On, on, um, on, 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 on a, a night a, like this. Yes. Living on a prayer. Living on a prayer. On and on and on and on and on. Go on. <laughs> What's that song? Yeah. On and on and on and on and on. Well, don't help him out. I thought I was... Yeah. On and on and on and on and on. on, on, on. <laughs> oh. If someone can just Google on, 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 on. Yeah. Um, uh, what do you reckon? Are we going to let the big guy through with on and on and no. on and on and on? Sarah, Matt, you're up. Go for it. I'm Fitzgerald's out. Fitzgerald's gone. <laughs> I mean, we had my heart will go on, guys. Oh. But easy on me. Isn't that great? Beautiful. Oh, ballad sessions. We should play yeah, that song again. Cutting. Why did we drop that out of breakfast, Jess? Oh, on the road again, Willie Nelson. Oh, on the road again. Um, all right, guys, we move on. MDG, Sarah. The word is home. Home, sweet home. Sweet home, Alabama. Well, there it is. Oh, Michael Bublé, home. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Song, yeah. Great song. Sarah, when I lived with uh, Gary, I know Gary a lot better than you do, <laughs> this song, like Michael Bublé, home, he would cry. Hello. He just, he got so emotional. He oh. said, it's the one song, don't play it, I'll cry. Oh. oh he would. He was, he's him. such an emotional beast. A weak turd. So yeah. sexy. Absolutely terrible. Okay, next one. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, well done. A little bit of fun fact about Gary there. He ran down when he heard the horn. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> MDG, Sarah, the word is drunk. Oh, day drunk. Uh, drunk. Yes. Morgan Evans. Drunk in love. Jay-Z, Beyonce. Oh, well done, Sarah. Top of the list there. Right here. Ed Sheeran we could have gone with. That's the one. You've nailed it, Jess. Yep. Uh, Young, Wild and Free, Wiz Khalifa. One of my favourites. Oh, yeah, that was such a great song. <laughs> Every Sunday I go driving for about three hours listening to that. That was your ringtone. Yeah, it was, while. wasn't it? Yeah. For about five years. <laughs> Far too long. <laughs> Five too long. All right, here we go, guys. The word is space. Spaceman. Spaceman. Oh, Spaceman. Yeah. So you have Sam Ryder. Delay, no. you, then. Um, MDG through. Space. 
Oh. Don't go, Sarah. You're Thanks, face, Taylor Swift. You are googling. <laughs> you are googling, no, Sarah. No, yes, you are. I'm in the car. I can see the light from the laptop on your face, and I can see it reflecting on your glasses where you just googled. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I'll write your name. <laughs> I got it. I Have got some it. standards, Michael. I'm going to let her through. Oh. I'm going to let her through. Yeah. But now I need both hands in the air, please. I can't. I have to hold the microphone on my lap. I am in a car. Oh. Here we go. Look. The word is... Half. Half a man, Dean Lewis. There it is. Oh, you G's on the, fire today. Gone with the Dean Lewis. I'm halfway there. I'm halfway there. Living on a prayer. Oh, we're halfway there. Yes. Yep. Sarah. <clears throat> Sung by uh, the Premier Dominic Perrottet on the show yesterday. Yes. Well done, guys. Mm-hmm. You're really moving through. <laughs> we're sort of at that point where it needs to wrap up. So yeah. No, 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 no. Just no. Go, so if we just, just put, pull the pin on the bit. One? The word is raw. Raw, like uh, Katy Perry raw. Sarah had that. We did this last week because I asked. Don't worry about it. R A W or R A R? You're out. (laughs) Sarah's got Katy Perry raw. Does she? Yes, she did. She beat you to it. MBG, are you with us? I mean... Are you with us? Any final bids? <laughs> going once, going <laughs> twice. Just, she's got me on the Katy Perry It's with Perry Sarah. Uh, strength of Katy Perry. Sarah McGilbray. What? The Mazda is victorious. She's won it from the Mazda. Outstanding work, says. You are today's winner of Songs to Songs, 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 Songs. The Fitzy and Whipper podcast. A couple of weeks ago, we spoke to a very, very special lady and we wanted to tell her that we've got her back. Beck Darby, 33 years of age, single mum, looks after Hunter, who needs full-time care. He's full 14 years of age. This is the chat that we had with Beth. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a muscle wasting disease. So, you know, they go from walking, running, playing, climbing to completely immobile. You're an amazing woman. You're an inspiration for a lot of people. And a lot of people out there would say, well, I would do exactly the same for my kids. But when you're in that situation, Beth, and you feel mm. like the world is just falling around you, um, yep. we just wanted to back it up today, Beck, and say that we've got your back. Thank you. Um, we want to find a place with a suitable fit for you, and if we can't find it, we want to help you out. So we're going to give you $40,000. <laughs> Thank you so much. So that's that's going to go towards a rental, and if we can't find you a place where there where there's stairs in there, we, we're going to get some trades in and make sure that Hunter has a good life. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. She was extraordinary, Beck. Oh, extraordinary, God. a superstar. Because the issue was, sort of after seven years, the rental lease had come up and the landlord wanted their place back. Mm. So she'd spent so much time, inspected over 100 homes, struggling to find a place that had Hunter's needs. Um, yeah, they were looking for a place down between Shell Harbour and Jeringong. Um, it was hard to do, but you know what? We've got this beautiful woman on the line again. Good morning, Beck. Hey, Beck. Hello, how are you? Oh, good, good, Beck. good, good. You know what? You're sounding a bit more chipper this morning, which is what I love to hear. Um, you've got some news for us, Beck. I do. We found a house. Woo! Hey, bang, we got there. <laughs> That's oh, great, there. Where is it? Uh, it's in Shell Cove. Okay, awesome. Oh, and so, yep. well done. Beck, you know what? I had so many people text me and ring me after your chat and emotional. Um, what was the support like after you come onto the show, Beck? Oh, it was absolutely incredible, everybody reaching out and trying to help in any way that they can and, you know, just to try and sort through things with me. People were sending me rentals and um, a lovely um, real estate agent, with, which was um, Illawarra Estate Agent, mm. um, reached out to me um, and said that we have a house that would be very suitable for Hunter. Right. Um, and then within the week, we went and had a look at it, and then that afternoon, we got it. They oh, loved that is it, amazing. And we got it. Yeah. Hey, you know what? So many people were moved by your story and wanted to help out. I mean, the list that we have in front of us of people that have put their hand up saying, hey, we've got this service we could offer, like Joel from Higgins. They've offered Boy, to supply paint for the new rental. Jo- Joel rang me. I reckon it would have been half an hour after we got off with you, and Joel rang me, because Joel had done some work on my place. He said, Fitzy, I will paint their rental for them. So he's helping you out there. You had Rachel, the massage therapist. Yep. She wants to give you monthly massages to help you relax and look after yourself, Beck. That's not bad. Oh, that sounds amazing. I definitely need his number. I mean, one of the big things, Beck, too, was access for Hunter and yeah. ramps. And even Kirk, who's a concreter, he got in touch and said he's happy to install ramps to the house so he can do yeah. anything required for the property. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you guys so much. No worries. We had Ben. As- ben Ben goes, i got a you. 
So tell Beck I want to help her move into the new home. So you've got extra hands there mm-hmm. to get into the new home. And the other one as well, like we had a lovely guy, Luke Hepworth was his name. He got in touch. He wants to send Beck for a night at the Crown in Sydney along with dinner and a massage. Oh, my God. Bed. So you can just relax and just forget a few things here and there and, and, and try to get yourself back into water again, you know? Oh, that sounds beautiful. No, we, we couldn't believe what you do as a mum and your love for the kids and Hunter's special needs. You're a superstar, Beck. Yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for helping out and, you know, getting the public out, you know, getting it out there into the public. And, yeah, you guys and everybody has helped so much. No, we're yes. wrapped that you found somewhere. You were telling us you were telling us as well, Beck, that it was hard for your younger children. It's hard for them to sort of understand. But, you know, Hunter does understand being a 14-year-old boy. Have you had a good chat to him about this? I mean, how does he feel about that? Um, yeah, like he's absolutely excited. He, he he has his own bathroom in his own room, mm-hmm. so yeah, he's just super keen to get there. And yeah, yeah. yeah. On you, Beck. All right, we'll Beck. keep in touch yeah. when you move into the new place. Good on you. Definitely. Love you, Beck. Thanks, Beck. You're listening to the Fitzy and Whipper podcast. Two people enter. Who is? Only one leaves. Let's turn up the heat. And we're on. Sixty seconds. Oh, on the clock, it's time to play Last Man Standing. And let's get the party started. Great adventures start at Anaconda Adventure HQ. They've got in-store experiences that will blow your mind. Now open at Chalora Business Park. Oh, oh that's hot. Are you all right, mate? Oh, I've just cooked up some damper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's really outdoorsy of yeah, you. I know, yeah. Hey, I've... do that outdoors, mate, not in the studio. <laughs> that tent that I've got there in the studio, that's from Anaconda. God, these marshmallows are melting. Fire. $500 to spend today. Hilly from Granville. Good morning, Hilly. Good morning, guys. How are you? Pretty good, Hilly. You're, yeah. o- you're off on a camping trip soon. Where are you going? Well, we want to head towards the snow to the cold and do some snowboarding, but we don't have enough things to go with yet. Okay. Yeah, right. You need the so warm. Please me up. Who are you going with, Hilly? Uh, my wife and a couple of our friends. Oh, oh no. man who goes camping with woman has one intent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, it's not, I mean, it's not great. It's an old one, but I went oh, for it anyway. Sleep still. Well done, Hilly. <laughs> Good on you, Hilly. You're, up, a laugh. you're up against Michael <laughs> in Elwood. You're wanting some new snow gear as well, Mick. Yeah, I'm going in two weeks for the first time, so I need some gear. All, All right. right. Good luck, Mick. All right. Both both want this badly. Mm-hmm. 500 bucks to spend at Anaconda. Hilly, you're going first. You get one wrong. Power goes over to Michael. Whoever has the power at the end of 60 seconds is making a trip to Anaconda. Hilly, your 60 seconds starts now. now. What is the least commonly used letter in the English alphabet? X. No, it's Z. Uh, okay, over to you, Michael. Michael, which travels faster, light or sound? Sound. No, it's light. Back to Hilly. Hilly, what movie did Steven Spielberg win his first Oscar for, for Best Director? No idea. Uh, Schindler's List. Back to Michael. Michael, which social media platform has a ghost as its logo? Snapchat. Yes, correct. Finish the lyrics, and I think to myself... What a wonderful world. That is correct. Which celebrity chef famously called someone an idiot sandwich? Uh, Gordon Ramsay. That is correct. When was Madonna's debut album released? Tough one. 1972. No, 1983. Back to Hilly. Hilly, how many balls in a pool set? Uh, 14. No, 12. Back to Michael. What is the world's largest ocean, Michael? Doesn't matter, Mickey. You've got it, buddy. Congratulations. Pacific was the answer, but you have got the money. $500 to spend at Anaconda. Thank you so much. The Fitzy and Whipper podcast. This is an interesting one, guys. Horrible situation for a man and his family who were travelling overseas. They'd saved up a lot of money here, Fitz, and they decided to pack their bags and go on a holiday together. What a great idea. Here's the issue. The holiday was overseas, so passports were packed. Mm. He got to the airport, showed his passport. Uh, The bloke at customs was quite confused by the passport because it seemed like it had been altered slightly. Upon further investigation, he realised that a few pages had been cut out of the passport. Oh, no, he's had a couple of footy trips, has he? Well, that's the thing. You're not far off it. What had happened, and unfortunately this was in front of his entire family, yeah. when he told his wife that he was away with the guys on a footy trip, he was flying overseas to see his girlfriend. Oh, what? So he was then coming back and cutting out the pages with the stamps on it. 
How do you get away with uh, cheating on your partner overseas? <laughs> well, if you had a girlfriend in New Zealand and the boys had a trip away, hey, honey, I'm going to be in Canberra for the weekend. You're in Queenstown. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, that's New Zealand, which is a four-hour flight, but mm. if you're going anywhere... Uh, well, if you're in Europe, it would be even easier. Uh, 50 minutes from well, somewhere, half an hour from somewhere. Yeah, but for us... Take the train, I mean, wouldn't that's you? That's why Australian men really struggle, because mm. we have to travel so far to cheat on Europe yeah, with been my... European women. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the geography of this nation it's has ex- been keeping us... Sarah, it's expensive. It's such a I long know. way. It's so time, hard to cheat, mate. The time zone. It's I mean, horrible. you rock up and you're tired. How do you think we're doing, Sarah? It's impossible. You, who's going Who's going through their partner's passport to check the stamps, though? Like, honestly, you're at customs. You're trying to get through what you say, darling. Can I just have a quick flick through your pages? Yeah. The thing was, customs then were able to track him down and realise the pages he'd cut out, he'd been overseas, which he then said mm. in front of the family, customs, why have you been to there and not telling anybody why you're trying to hide this? You know, Unfortunately, it's my girlfriend. And I, um, oh, the US customs, man, I got grilled last week. And you know what? If you don't answer quickly... You get nervous, don't oh, you? Oh, man, you rock up. And I was yep. freaking out. I was sweating. How long are you here for? And then if you if you stutter... Oh, yeah, what, what about... Uh, uh, five, um, um, well, five days or six days? What's How many bag? days are you here for? <laughs> and what are you here for? Well, sort of, I'm here for... Uh, what? Oh, yeah, what's in your boogie board bag? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got all those headphones packed. <laughs> you know what? A guy I know... Well, I don't know him. He was a friend of a friend. <laughs> he, um, he had a, he fell off a motorbike, and it was quite a serious issue. Um, and he went to hospital. The thing was, it hit his head and he was unconscious, so they grabbed his phone, and they made a couple of phone calls trying to track down his family and his wife. Yeah. And the first person that they called, um, because it was his last phone call, mm. um, her name was Natasha. She didn't answer. They called the second person, um, who was his wife, who turned up. They then said to the wife when she walked in, oh, you must be Natasha. Oh, she tough. said, no, I'm Sally's wife. Yeah. He's, what, he, what? he then proceeded to be in a coma for another six months. <laughs> <laughs> the Fitzy and Whippers Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.